So welcome ladies and gentlemen, welcome to today's video. It's going to be a little bit of a different one today. Don't worry, FIFA is still going to happen, all right? I, I'm actually enjoying FIFA, minus the dribbling, which I still think is terrible. It's far too quick. But I have been enjoying FIFA offline with sliders, slowing things down, playing on manual. It's really made me enjoy the game a hell of a lot more than I have in the past. So that is going to happen. I haven't stopped. I've just been busy. And folks, I also work eight hours a day. This is the thing, right? Before we dive into this, just to give you a summary, right? I do work a full-time job. I'm sort of a marketing direct, you know, digital marketing is my thing. I run some Amazon things. So I work eight hours a day. After that, then I have some free time to do videos. But FIFA and eFootball, if I'm doing long videos, can take me, well, at least an hour and a half to record. Then I've got another hour plus to edit it. Then I've got to render it, upload it. It takes me like four hours. So imagine working eight hours and then doing another four hours on top of that. You know, and I only get a few thousand views on FIFA videos. It's not worth the time. So the, really, the only time I have is on the weekends. And at the moment, it's extremely busy. Okay, so that's kind of my thought process of why it takes me so long to get these videos out. I apologize, but you know, life is what it is, and we only have certain times of the day. Anyway, right. Today's video. I, I've wanted to be I've 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 wanted to put this out for the longest time. And it kind of made me want to do it even quicker after sort of yesterday, Konami put out a tweet, right? Um, if my mouse and uh, what is that on my computer? Speed up, son. Stop embarrassing yourself. Right. So they put out this tweet, okay, saying representing the UK and Italy in the Bruno Cup. And then they had Manny and this guy here, Mike Shosha uh, from Italy. And I mentioned like, you know, wait, what? Doesn't Manny play like... Because I, I clicked on... This is why. Because I went on Manny's channel, right? You actually go on this one. I don't know if he has a separate channel or not. No idea. Um, but I went to his videos and it was all I saw was FIFA, FIFA, FIFA. These are all FIFA videos. In fact, he hasn't got um, a single... Has he got any football video out? I don't... You know, people said he used to play Become a Legend. Right, well, Become a Legend was years and years and years ago. So that's kind of why I decided to do this video because I saw this and I was like, well, what about the other eFootball creators? But then I realized that this is, this is the way things are now, folks, right? We're going to cover this. We're going to talk about it. So let's get cracking, right? First of all, eFootball as a whole, right, they have a certain business model. When I went to LA, and I and I spoke briefly about this in the, in the stream, there isn't a whole lot to say, folks, about my trip. I went to LA, saw Konami's offices, right? We spoke about a few things. There are a lot of other YouTubers there that don't play eFootball, and that is what they want right now, right? Us offline players, we, we can't do a whole lot, okay? We just can't. The Offline isn't coming this year. There's no edit mode this year, and there's no Master League till next year. Okay, so for another at least, I'd say, six months, you're going to have to put up with this. And, you know, after they put stuff like out like this with Manny and this other dude, it showcases you the direction that Konami want to go, folks. Why does this always pop up? Sort off. It's exactly the direction they want. Right now, Konami are making money. Okay, it's as simple as that. They've got the mobile version, which is basically the PS5, the Xbox PC version. It's the same build. So they are making a lot of money. So when people come in my videos and they're always like, why are you still playing this? Blah, blah, blah. But I'm like, what else is there to play? I'm an offline guy, folks. Okay, offline. I love offline. I don't like online. That's my biggest problem because the world is changing Free-to-play models are now the thing of the future. As much as we may hate to say that, that is 100% the truth. It doesn't cost a lot of money to invest into the game, and because of microtransactions, they can make a killing, an absolutely killing amount of money. I don't know how much money Konami have made, revenue-wise. I'm sure it is hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars, and uh, they use that money to do these events, right? And then that gets more eyes on the game, more people play it because it is free. And then they buy coins, Konami make money, then they do new events and it's rinse and repeat, right? It's as simple as that. So yeah, when people come into my videos and they go, why are you playing this? When's offline coming? Can you do this? Can you do that? Folks, 
I can't do anything. You have to realize and understand now, Pez is dead, folks. There is no more Pro Evolution, okay? We have Pez 21. It was the last official Pez game to come out. Now we've got eFootball, okay? And I will tell you this much. If eFootball was to come out like UFL, it would have got no way near as many eyes on it. The reason why people went and played eFootball was because it was from the developers of Pez. So we all went, ooh, we enjoyed Pez. Let's go and give eFootball a bash. Now, it was horrendous when it launched. Don't get me wrong. It was really horrendous. Um, but we'd still got eyes on the game. And actually, as they say, any publicity is good publicity, even if it's negative. It's still getting eyes on the game. So I really want you guys to understand that Konami have gone this route. eFootball is here to stay. And it will be the future for Konami. Pez is dead. I know that. So please stop coming in the video saying, play Pez, play Pez. Folks, I'm bored of Pez as well. Pez 21 for me was a fantastic game. When you start putting mods in there, unbelievable. Probably one of the best simulation football games to play. But it's still using really outdated you know, animations, right? and all the other stuff that they've had incorporated from old games, the goalkeeping animations and all that stuff, they're still recycled. So PES 21 can only go so far. Eventually, you've seen it all. You want something fresh and something new. Efootball has potential, and that's the word we've used often. But for me, myself, that potential will not happen until there's offline. So you've got your online folks right here, which is the, maj the majority is online. Remember that. And then you've got your offline folks like myself, like you guys, maybe even Spoonie and that, you know, Barry the Midnight Kid. I mean, he does enjoy Master Leagues, but he does also really like online. So someone like myself, I don't like playing online. I probably should switch and play more often and I'd attract new viewers. But for me, I don't know. I just can't get into it. And then I did watch Spoonie's video the other day. He won 6-0 and then the guy left in the last minute and he got he got nothing out of the game. And it's stuff like that. Like, why play online and waste 10, 15 minutes of my time, win a match, and then the person does some sketchy, cheaty move and I get nothing for it? It certainly doesn't make me want to come back and play the game. At all. In the slightest. So... That's why I want to put this out today, because people have to understand this free-to-play model, as I said, it's here to stay. FIFA next year is changing their name. It's no longer going to be called FIFA, right? It's going to be EA Sports FC 24, whatever they call it. Is it going to affect it? Probably not, but still, they are talking that FIFA or EA Sports FC may go free-to-play. Then you've got UFL. Now, UFL... Um, <laughs> UFL is a funny one for me because I'm, I'm going to bring up my video real quickly and, and touch upon UFL very, very, very briefly. Right, so yesterday or the other day, it wasn't yesterday, the other day, I put this out, right? Obviously, it was the UFL showing the cutscenes and all this stuff. And then, obviously, they had the snippets of gameplay, which, it, you know, it doesn't look mind-blowingly good, does it, right? But we haven't played it. Now, this is what cracks me up is because when you scroll down, a lot of you guys were pretty much saying that, you know, it was complete pants. You know, where, where is it? Let's see. There are some there are some harsh comments, I'll be honest with you. Uh, it looks more like FIFA than eFootball or Pez. It looks too arcadey style. Um, okay, fair enough. It looks bobbins. Um, everyone needs to remember we're in 2023. Uh, I don't see any defense whatsoever. The first thing needs is a new name. Uh, there were a few other ones that just said, look, it looks pants, right? Literally, what's the difference between this and FIFA 14? And this is the thing. As I said, like a couple of minutes ago, if eFootball, right, came out last year and it wasn't for the makers of Konami, people wouldn't have touched it. Because a game like this is going to come out and people won't touch it because of this. Number one, again, it's free to play, folks. Your input, your feedback will help in turn improve this game. And I don't understand all the negativity nowadays. I, I know I'm... I, I, when I do videos, I try and be constructive about things. And over the last few years, I've kind of stopped being as negative because there's no point. Like nitpicking everything doesn't really help. I mean, there was one guy who said I was complaining too much about the ref, uh, not the refs, the goalies and how they jump like trampolines. And that was a really 
Like, that's an actual problem. Like, the game, if you haven't played Pez for five years, like I have, non-stop, duh, 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 you'd see that they're using the same recycled animation. So, yeah, saying that that's a nitpick, it's not. It's not a nitpick. Goalies should be a lot better nowadays than they used to be. But people saying that this game looks crap, I'm not going to try it, that doesn't help the cause, folks. These brand new indie developers are putting their heart and soul into these games. They need our feedback to improve it in turn. If they've got no one playing the game, then what's the point? Sure, yeah, it does look a bit arcadey at times, and the defense does look non-existent, but they have slowed it down, and this looks like a much more, you know, obviously a slower pace, more of a a football type pace than FIFA when it gets crazy online and it's nuts. But all I'm saying is the negativity like coming into these games, it doesn't help. It doesn't help improving a game. OK, I've kind of gone off track, but I kind of wanted to get that out there, too. So, yeah, I think we all have to realize that football is changing. The world is changing. Free to play games are here. They are bigger than ever. And Konami are looking at money signs all the time. And of course, they are seeing that the game is doing well for them. Whether you think the game is pants or not, it doesn't matter to Konami. They are still looking at dollar signs. It's like any business. So yeah, I think we all need to come to the realization that eFootball is here to stay. Pez is done and we have to just respect that. And someone like myself, I'm not going to change. I'm not. I'm an offline guy, and I always will be. I'm telling you, I'm 35 next year. I've been around a decent amount. In the 90s, the early 2000s, all offline. Now we're into the transitional phase. Well, it's not transitional because we've had online gaming for ages. But, but we're in that stage now. We're free to play. You've seen Fortnite. Even Call of Duty Mobile probably racks up so much money just because it's so easy to pick it up and play it and spend the odd dollar. You don't notice it, folks, when you're spending two, three, four, five dollars a week. You really don't. You know, when you're spending hundreds, then you are. But people are spending that little bit. That goes to Konami's pocket. Rinse and repeat. And there we go. So let me know your thoughts, honestly, about what you feel about free to play games and the fact that, you know, we aren't going to get another Pez game. It is done. We've got to realize that. Um, but yeah, let me know your thoughts below because I'm always intrigued. But I wanted to put this out because I'm just sick and tired of. As I said, people are being negative a lot recently. It's like, just deal with the facts that this is the way we are in the world or just go and play the old games again. That's your two options. There's not a whole lot we can do about it. They see money signs, that's the way they roll. Anyway, we'll be back with FIFA. It is going to happen. Don't worry. And then we'll play you football every now and then just to keep things rolling. But until next time, leave your thoughts and take care.